we're going to show you another saw that we like to use or that I like to use. I'm not sure that Shayla's ever used this handheld skill saw. It is electric. Um, everyone's going to cordless for obvious reasons. So this one can still cause a little problem. You don't have the cords where you need it. I want to show you the difference in, as far as cutting from the miter saw versus the uh, skill saw. And having the right tool for the job is important. So for an example, cutting this board, would you cut it on the miter saw or with the hand saw? Well, obviously not with the miter saw. This is where your skill saw comes in to play uh, and it's very handy. Okay, so, tell me why you said obviously not because some people well, may not I, you know, know why well, that's See, leave obvious. that in there. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me take a flat piece of plywood and trying to cut that on the miter saw all right, let's see. This is why you cannot cut large pieces of plywood or slats on a miter saw. They're only, or the saw is only designed for angle cuts, cutting straight through uh, large pieces of boards or what have you. So well, not large, but long, right? Long, because that be long. would be considered large, but it's yeah, too I, wide. Right, 12, right. yeah, 12 is it. Yeah. Not going to happen. So, I bring my skill saw over, which is also, uh, I believe this one is about a 12 amp. It has a lot of power. It only has a 4 inch blade on it. So, you are limited on the depth or uh, thickness of the board that you can cut. 4 inches is about the max. Um, anything more than that, it's going to look like that piece of plywood I just cut. So, let me give you an example or show you how to cut with this saw. It also has a safety mechanism on it, so you cannot pull the trigger and it will not engage the blade without you pushing the safety mechanism first. Not the straightest cut, but it is cut and it's clean. Uh, with this saw, you can also cut vertically or you can cut horizontally if you're cutting just a piece of uh, sheetrock out or you're wanting to cut out a window pane. This is a good tool for that to use. Um, this is, uh, see, it looks like half inch thick mm -hmm. and went through pretty easy. You know, yeah. No problem with that. You can cut angles if you want to cut it at a 45 degree angle. Okay, show how you did that though. <clears throat> this plate is uh, will pivot, and it will pivot only to your left. Are you pushing a button or anything? Well, I released I released the mechanism okay. on the top, and tilted this over forty five okay. degrees. Lock it. Well, it's not going quite that far. Lock it back into place, okay. and we'll make a cut with that. That gives you a nice little bevel. So if you're making cabinets or if you're wanting to cut something for the kids' room and it cuts it perfectly at 45, this is going to be more like 30. But anyway, so you, you see the point. You can make corners. Oops, you moved it right as Sorry. it focused in. Okay. Oh. Cut. Got it. nice clean cut yeah i will say that with this unit also if you're wanting to cut metal through metal sheet metal um, or even through concrete this is a good saw to use just by changing out your blades you can get obviously this is a wood blade they make them also for concrete and for metal um, to change the blade out it's real simple you just have one little simple tool and it comes with that, it right? It does come with it. I attach mine onto the unit itself, so I'll always have it with me. Okay. 
you know what? <clears throat> you never change a blade out while it's plugged in. <laughs> All right, so now let me mention this. <clears throat> so in order to change the blade out, it has a locking pin, which keeps the blade in a lock position so you're able to spin the screw out. If not, this will happen and you will not be able to get the blade off. So pushing the little locking mechanism on the back locks the blade into place. Well. Very long winded. Okay. <clears throat> Roll your blade back Oops. and just pop it right off. All right. And to put it back on, make sure everything's still in place. Now, I will say this I have done this many a times. <clears throat> you cannot cut wood with your blade at this direction, it has to cut with the teeth going towards the cut. So, putting your blade on. The right way and the right will make sure you get the best cut that you're looking for when you're doing your projects. This is the correct way. Reinstall this little thing. Thought I was getting arthritis, but it's this early onset rigor mortis. So what are y'all doing this evening? <laughs> okay, it's very long-winded. <laughs> Next video, please. I'll, I'll speed it all yeah. up while you're doing all that. All right, so now we're back in business. Okay. Okay. It's unplugged. All right. <clears throat> now. Put your tool back in place. Take my tool back. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. This is also a Bauer uh, unit purchased at Harbor Freight. They're about $79 new. Look for the coupons. You might find one a little cheaper than that. So. Yeah. And when we see coupons for any of the Harbor Freight products that we've reviewed. We will share those on the community tab and on our social media pages. So make sure you're subscribed so that you get those notifications. Need your help again. <laughs> like and subscribe. Go the second mile for someone in your life. And? And with your resources. Very good. <laughs> it only took me four years to learn that phrase. <laughs>